This is Cup of Sunshine, your Friday podcast brought to you by the Phoenix Center team of the Deutsche Internationale Schule Johannesburg. Welcome back. I'm Katja Fleck, the manager of the Phoenix Center. In Cup of Sunshine, we are sharing hints and tips on managing life during the times of COVID-19 and beyond. We would like to know, did we miss a topic? Do you have any questions? Send us an email and we will cover your questions in another episode or the Q&A session in Term 4. Dear DSJ learners, today's episode is specifically directed to you. The episode is a bit longer than usual, but I will give you plenty of examples for you to get a good understanding of each step to successful studying. At the DSJ, we always expected from you to study in a self-guided manner and to take responsibility for your own study behavior. Now, this is asked of you more than ever. I understand it is a challenge, but it is also a chance. Be assured, we all want you to do well and develop your talents and potential. Now, listen up to my personal guide to lecker studying. Study tip one, to remember facts make an acronym. This is a word which is made out of the first letters of, for example, titles you need to learn. If a word does not quite fit, you can also give each letter a new word to make up a funky sentence to remember. This is what I had to do for this guide. In my personal guide to lecker studying, I have six words with the first letter pointing to a heading of what to do to study effectively. The M in my stands for motivate yourself. The P in personal stands for prepare. The G in guide stands for get started. The T in two stands for staying on track. The L in lacquer stands for let's celebrate. And the S in studying stands for self-care. Got it? My personal guide to lacquer studying tells you all about how to motivate yourself, pre prepare, get started, staying on track, let's celebrate, and self-care. Of course, repeating this here is important. It helps you already to memorize this more easily. Okay, now let's unpack my personal guide to lecker studying. M for motivate yourself. Let's start with your big picture. Do you maybe want to study in Germany? Do you want to fulfill your dream of becoming a doctor or working in a German company? Do you want to follow your passion of creating arts and crafts or have your own company? To just have a talent for something is not enough. You need to put in the work as well. Get a clear vision on why performing well at school helps you to make your vision come true. Inform yourself. What do you need to study a certain subject at a certain university? Or what do you need to become your own boss? There are certain skills to run a business. Math, accounting and languages are maybe mo most obvious, but not the only subjects which can help you to prepare well for your life of self-employment, if that is what you want. Next, look at the subject and your goal for the subject. Okay, let's be honest. If you're not interested in a certain subject, studying for it will be hard. Thinking about your bigger picture can help you to mobilize energy even for those tricky subjects. For me, it was history. I wanted to study psychology and in Germany every subject counts for an overall mark to be admitted to psychology or medicine, at least when I was at school. So I made up a little game for myself, which was raising my hand at least four times and speaking at least three times during a lesson. I managed to improve a whole grade in the subject. To summarize your vision and mission, use the study mission worksheet. The link is in the description. Plan your rewards. Think about what you would like to do to celebrate when you reach your goals. Plan now and remember your reward when studying gets tough. Reward everyday goals like, today when I'm done studying, I will spend an hour with a cup of hot chocolate and my favorite book. Or when I wrote the exam or test, I will have a movie night. By the way, TV and gaming can be a reward, but make sure you have a movement break or so directly after studying because the new input on the screen might interfere with what, with what you have just learned and then you would have just wasted your time you spent on studying. Motivate yourself with phrases, symbols, mascots or similar. For example, say to yourself, you've got this, step by step. 
Let's do this. You can Google quotes and phrases if you cannot think of one. I usually have a vision board which represents my big picture somewhere in my room. I also add quotes and pictures I might find. P for prepare. You need to write a study plan. We have stretched this point in the earlier podcasts. Get a piece of paper, diary or study plan up. Plan backwards. Write down dates of tests. If there is no date yet, keep in mind that this test will still be coming up. Look at each day and add your other responsibilities, lessons, other activities and events. Then allocate your study time. For that, you need to first be very aware of your study habits. Best fill in the questionnaire on study skills. The link is in the description. Think about when do you study best? Block that time in your study plan. For how long are you able to study in one go? Mark that in your plan as well. Plan breaks, smaller breaks for stretching or toilet breaks, and bigger breaks for having a snack or going for a walk. Plan off time for your brain to probably store what you have learned and for body and mind to recover. This will help you to feel more relaxed and to concentrate better. If you are anxious or nervous, you will not be able to concentrate that well. You first need to do something to settle that energy. Now, look at each subject. Which topics can you break it down into? How long do you need to spend on each topic? Begin filling your study plan with these chunks for each subject. Also plan time for repetition and a buffer, in case something happens you haven't planned for, or you simply need longer on a topic than expected. It all boils down to plan well ahead in time. Here is study tip 2. Learn about your pathways to learning. Does it work for you to write things down and read? Try index cards. Do you like to speak and hear? Make a recording and listen to it over and over. Explain to yourself or classmate the content you need to learn. You can do that over recordings as well. You have understood a topic when you are able to explain it to someone else. Do pictures help you? Make a mind map, poster or other visual creation. Do you need to move? Take your index cards for a walk. Put up posters and content on your walls and walk around while reviewing the content. Our brain learns best by making associations. We all know the experience of smelling something and immediately a memory comes up, right? This is what we can make use of for our studying. Use smells, tastes and colors and locations to connect certain subjects and content to. Your brain will memorize and recall better if you keep this consistent. For example, study German while smelling a lemon and using the color yellow. The scent has the additional effect of helping you to concentrate and calm. In the exam, have the scent on a tissue and bring something yellow. Make sure you choose colors and smells you like. Whew, that was a lot to take in already. Time for a break. Pause the audio and do something else for five minutes or so. You might need to set an alarm to remember to come back. Welcome back to my personal guide to lecker studying. Now we will look into G for get started. Begin with a warm-up routine. Switch off the TV, put your phone away, find a quiet spot, tidy up your desk or study area. Go to the loo and grab a glass of water. Tell yourself something motivating like, I've got this. Gather your concentration by breathing, muscle relaxation or stretching. Just make way for that oxygen to reach your brain and for your mind and body to relax. Begin with an easy subject, which you know quite well or you're good at. That gives you already the sense of achievement and you can then move to more challenging subjects. Only have on your desk what is relevant for the subject. Study tip 3. Use mnemonics to memorize facts. These techniques to help you memorize. Here are some examples. Word picture. Write down a word related to the topic you are studying and add other words for each letter, summarizing main aspects of the topic or details of the topic. This is similar to the first study tip, the acronym, but works the other way around. Use keywords to remember a definition or learning vocabulary. This is how it works. The German word for parachute is Fallschirm. Pronounce Fallschirm and find a similar sounding keyword or phrase in your own language. Fallschirm sounds a bit like for schimp. A falling chimpanzee. Create an image in your mind in which you visually connect the keyword 
which represents a foreign language word, with its meaning. Imagine a falling shimp who just fell off a cliff. Luckily, he opened his parachute and is now safely sailing to the ground. Fallschirm. Try a memory journey. Imagine walking through a room, house or street and store facts in certain places. Like at school, the classroom where you usually would have a subject represents the subject. Then the different furniture can have different topics like the blackboard, cupboard, window and so forth. You can also use your body to store facts to help you memorize. Hang sticky notes around your room. Walk around the room, pausing in front of each sticky note reading. Eventually, you will find it easy to recall what is on each of the sticky notes without actually walking around the room. You can include the other tips like color coding subjects. Also, sing, rap and clap along, the content you need to remember. I could not remember how to spell Kesquilia in French in grade 7. I made up a little song. I still remember it. Also, check out vocab apps. T for staying on track. You are done with the topic? Tick it off in your study plan. Look at the things you have already done to motivate yourself. Avoid working on one single topic for too long. That means have a break or change the subject when you feel concentration is slipping. Are you behind your plan or you did not study much yet? Accept it. There's nothing you can do now and beating yourself up won't help either. But learn from this for next time and start all over now. Notice negative self-talk and anxious thoughts and replace them with helpful thoughts. Think about what you can do and what you already achieved instead of what you can't do or have not done yet. Ask someone to help you to motivate you. This might be very helpful, especially in the beginning. Unless it annoys you, then rather leave the step and motivate yourself. And for let's celebrate! Now it's time to reward yourself for hard work and yes, also for listening to me until now. I can see you are determined to get to lacquer studying habits. Celebrate short-term goals as well as long-term successes. You started studying in time? Great! Then you can take the breaks you have planned for fun activities. Notice how much more relaxed you are and how easier studying goes when you take that time to unwind. S for self-care. These topics we have covered in depth in other podcasts, so here just a short summary and the links to them in the description and transcript. And another podcast specifically on self-care is coming up next week. Sleep, sleep, sleep. 8 to 12 hours, depending on your age, is a must. Reduce screen time to a minimum. You are not just losing time to study. The content can also interfere with your memory. Move a lot, especially while still e-learning and most of our time is spent in front of the PC. Eat healthily. Avoid sugar and caffeine. Avoid heavy food and large quantities. This is to help your body to direct energy to concentration and not to digestion. Take off time to release stress by spending time with family and friends, by getting creative and playing, or taking time out with the meditation practice. Make use of the mentioned material on the DSJ website. Links are in the description and transcript. As well, remember to ask your teachers. They are expert when it comes to test preparation in their subject. They had to study it in depth at university. Please also note, studying is a very personal process. Some can study better with music in the background, others not. Some can study better in the afternoon, others not. It is about trying things out and finding a way which works for you. And this is the recipe for a lifelong journey of learning. This journey never ends. That's it for today. We made it through. Good luck and all the best for the upcoming tests in Term 3 and 4.